Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 77 of Deus Ex. Mankind Divided. Uh, so, uh, in this episode, uh, we will be heading... Oh, let's pick up a uh, mission here. Worse. Let's pick up a uh, side quest here that we did not have before. We can't you let them get away with you this. have to tell us. Excuse me. I recognize you. We're neighbors. I've seen you in our building. You're very difficult to miss. By chance, did someone send you to investigate? No, no one sent me. What happened here? It's horrible. An augmented woman was killed. Just outside of where we live. She looks like she was my age. Do you have any idea who she was? No. I've never seen her before. It's so sad that nothing would be done about this. Oak victims are not high on the list of police priorities. To them, it's like a dog lying in the street. You... you're not a cop, are you? I was a cop, once. Old habits die hard. In America? Yeah, Detroit. It was a long time ago. I bet you have a lot of experience. You're used to this sort of thing. What about you? What's your interest in all this? Morbid curiosity? Oh, no. I want nothing more than to go home. Detective Montag, he's making me stay. He, he thinks I saw something. Did you see something? Maybe. I think I would rather not say, to be honest. Because if I had seen something, and if I started talking about it, wouldn't that put me in danger? How about reassure? You may not think much of the police here. I may not think much of them either. But that doesn't mean you should hold back information. They don't have it in them to protect me. They have neither the will nor the courage. Be that as it may, still probably your best hope for helping to catch the killer. I know. It's just that I don't trust the police. I would feel safer with someone like you. You have more reason to be invested in this than they do. You're augmented, like the victim was. And you look like you could actually protect me. It's not my case. But maybe you could help. Please, neighbor. Talk to Detective Montag. At least see how it's going. Make sure he doesn't think he's on vacation just because the victim is an orc. Yeah, let's take this. I'll talk to the officer in charge and see where he is with the investigation. If I can help him, I will. Thank you. Suppose I end up remembering something later. Is there a way for me to contact you? You planning to run off on me already? The first chance I get. There are times for standing in the cold, but this isn't one of them. I just want to go home, bolt the door, and never come out again. Of course, I will wait for Detective Montag to say it's okay first. And I'll still try to answer whatever questions you may have. I can give you access to my info link. You should feel free to use it if you have to. Thank you, neighbor. I'll talk well, to you about what happened. Be. How come she talks to him so. and not to me? Okay, let's talk to Detective Montag. So, Daria was actually talking to you, huh? I could barely get two words out of her. What did she say? Did she see anything? You mean your witness over there? She's... She's not sure yet. <laughs> How can she not be sure? Either she saw something or she didn't. She's scared. She thinks she might be in danger. I told her she'll be fine and that whoever did this would be caught. I'd like to believe that's true. Sure, so would I. But as you can see, the victim was like you. Augmented. That makes things a little more complicated, eh? Being a cop in this city, it's not always about doing the right thing. Or about doing things the right way. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? 
Okay. Uh, huh. Someone gets killed. Oh, scathe. No, no, no. Uh, how about relate? Okay. How about relate? I was a cop for 12 years. I know all about getting bad orders. The difference between what you're told to do and what you know is right. Tell me about it. So, how did you reconcile yourself with uh, those kinds of orders? I quit. <laughs> I'm two months away from the beach. I'm not quitting, but I respect your idealism. It was a long time ago. I work for Interpol now. Interpol, huh? Listen, off the record, I've been told to forego any unnecessary investigation. I want you to know it's not my idea of how things should be done. Who told you to forego the investigation? <sighs> Men who spend more time making policies than arrests. They want the victim's husband, Johnny Gunn, ex-PMC operative. Heavily augmented. All right. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you know things aren't being handled the way they should, why not do something about it? I thought I just did. Just because my hands are tied doesn't mean Interpol can't conduct a parallel investigation. Crime scene's right over there. And Johnny lives just a couple of blocks from here. I never said I was going to work your case for you. Sure you did. Isn't that more or less the promise you made your little friend over there? <laughs> she won't talk to a cop because she doesn't trust us. Smart girl. Look, my orders are to arrest the husband. You take a look around, get to Johnny before my guys do. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually learn something. I'll let you know what I find. That's that's a very down-to-earth cop. So uh, <laughs> he's a good cop, actually. He's very smart. Okay, let's check. Let's check for. Yowch! That doesn't look good. Needle. There was a piece of broken needle. So was she? Uh... Just because Montag trusts him doesn't mean I do. Partial fingerprint. <laughs> okay. Best to be careful. It a ripped out augmentation. Whoever did this didn't seem to too keen to keep it for himself. They just wanted to separate it from the body. Whoa! So they're not harvesting. Why? I think he found something. Whoa! Can't what's this? We got stuck down here. Was a reporter. Could be she saw something that she should not. Pretty obvious what happened here. A pair Are of glasses. No, but she was. And she had enemies. Away from the crime scene, sir. EMP fragments. So it looks like somebody. Looks like somebody. We got all the. Looks like somebody EMP'd her because she's an augmented person. Hit her with a. Fuck, uh, what is Maybe Doesn't even with like a tranquilizer to trank her. And then. Uh, whoa, let's view the entries. Okay, uh, so EMP fragment found on disabled electronics, okay, and then broken glasses, that was primarily hers, she's with the press, so maybe she encountered a story, and people want to squash it, how about a rip that augmentation? Marks. Wow. Okay, she was not only just hit with an EMP, but also hit with a tranquilizer. And then she was strangled to death. Okay, that. There's actually a story here. What is this? Okay, let's pick up the crafting parts. 
So, uh, what do we do next? Uh, oh, we're looking at a side mission. So we got a new mission. It's called Talk to uh, Travel to. Johnny Gunn was married to the victim. So we picked up all the evidence. We investigated the scene of the crime. Okay, should we travel? Was married to the victim, Angela Gunn. Montag's superiors have already made up their minds that Johnny's responsible. I need to talk to him and decide for myself. Montag says, says Johnny lives in an apartment a couple of blocks from here. Okay. Okay, so where do we come out? I thought it was around here somewhere. Huh. Let's go to the map and see where he is staying. Oh. Was married to the victim, Angela Gunn. So we have to take a train oh, ride but before we do that i remember we had we left some kind of a uh, i think we left a uh, a combat rifle somewhere here uh the last time we were here uh so it might be a good idea to now pick it up before we go especially the fact that we're going to uh to Prague, to Central Prague. Okay, I think we did. We wasn't that uh, something we we busted through? Yeah, here. Yeah, okay. We busted through here, and then we traveled through the fence. Okay, here is that. Okay, that's this. This is okay. Now. And we can actually turn this off, right? From this side. Oh, we picked this thing clean, okay. Uh, I thought there was a switch over here to turn this thing off. Is it this one? No. Uh, wait. Uh, well, we're immune to electricity now, so we can just turn this thing off over here because of our uh, what do you call this our augmentation we can now walk through electricity okay we can just shrug it off pretty cool huh <laughs> okay now that we picked up the gun we can now go to the I mean they're holding yeah to the plane uh, train station and go to central Prague Oh, you know what? Maybe we should talk to the cop first before we go to Prague because we have all the evidence, right? Uh, let's talk to him again. Uh, I think it's a good idea to just talk to him. No, I don't believe. So where's the uh, on dog? Enjoying yourself, detective. Uh, I want to help with the case. To do that, I need it. what you know. Okay. I want to help you with this case. To do that, I need a rundown of what you know already. Help me, huh? You mean, like being my subordinate? I mean, like making sure we catch whoever's responsible. Right. Well, I have a dead body, Angela Gunn. I have bureaucratic pressure to arrest the augmented husband, Johnny Gunn. I have a crime scene, and I have you. <laughs> Alright, I have some questions about the murder. 
Before we go any further with this, I need you to know something about Johnny Gunn. He's... he's not a good man. I may not like how my bosses are targeting him, but that doesn't mean he's innocent. So, you know, just make sure you're here for the right reasons. Why else would I be here? I don't want this to turn into some kind of crusade. Bad men do bad things. In a perfect world, we arrest them for the right reasons, but, well, the world's not always perfect. Okay, career... How long have you been a cop? <sighs> Too long. End of all the ways to go out, eh? What do you mean? I mean being assigned a case like this. It's HQ's little joke before sending me off to retirement. Oh, but don't worry about me, eh? I'm a survivor. I can make it through this. This case is a joke to you? I didn't say that. I said it's a joke to HQ. They know I haven't left my desk in years. But that doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Just... Just a little rusty. Man, this guy, is re he really knows what this... He's uh, very real. I'm here because I don't like the idea of someone killing people right outside my window. Maybe he's out there right now, targeting that poor witness. Or maybe he's just looking for any chance to do it again. Fair enough, Mr. Interpol. Suspects. Anything I should know about the scene? Anything jump out at you? The dismembered body jumps out at me. Keep in mind, I've been behind a desk for the last 12 years. It all jumps out at me. I found this press ID on the victim. Okay, enlighten me. We care about this... why? Angela Gunn was a journalist. Maybe this is work-related. Maybe she uncovered something she wasn't supposed to. Maybe. I don't know. I found what looks like a grenade fragment. EMP by the looks of it. Killer might have used this to incapacitate her. Interesting. Johnny wouldn't need an EMP to take down his wife. Riot police use EMPs to re-establish public order around here. With all the AUG riots, anti-AUG riots, it wouldn't surprise me if that's all it was. Still, interesting. I found this piece of glass near the body. A pair of broken glasses, maybe? I don't know what to tell you. We're in the back alley of a major city. There's bound to be broken glass. <laughs> Did the killer leave anything behind? Does anything strike you as odd? I don't know. It's a murder, you know? Doesn't matter if you look at it sideways or upside down. It's never going to look normal. I found a broken needle stuck in the victim's shoulder. The killer might have drugged Angela before killing her. Maybe. But keep in mind, she was an og. Don't you all have to shoot up that new puzz shit? Let's go for the obvious before jumping to any wild conclusions. Boy, this guy really knows. No, he's, he's very real. I found a print on Angela's neck, next to the contusion marks. It's a partial, so I don't think we can match it to anything. But at least we know the killer left something, and that she was strangled. Huh, a fingerprint. I must have missed that one. This is exactly the kind of evidence I'm talking about. No way Johnny could squirm his way out of something like that. If only we could link it to him. I'm assuming you know her augments were harvested. The marks on her body make it seem like the killer knew exactly what he was doing, knew exactly what he wanted. Uh, the way you said that just now. What about it? The way you described the aug removal. And before, you mentioned a broken needle in the right shoulder? That's right. 
It reminds me, you know. There was this cop, Smolinski. He used to work in this neighborhood. He had this theory about a copycat. Someone acting just like a dead killer named, um... Zvobotka. You think there's a connection to another case? I don't know yet. But I remember him mentioning something about needles and og removal. Smolinski died in the police station bombing. Whatever files he had would have been moved into temp storage across the street from the bombed out station. Who knows? Maybe it's nothing. <laughs> well, at least uh, we seem to be getting somewhere. So we can check uh... Do you know if the victim had any enemies? I know she and Johnny didn't get along. Other than that, I really couldn't tell you. Were you able to get anything out of the witness? Sounded like she might have seen something. Who? Oh, little Miss Mousy? I was under the impression Daria was your domain. Apparently, I'm not good enough to talk to. <laughs> Tell me about the victim's husband, Johnny. He used to work for a private military company, Bell Tower. He's been arrested for all sorts of things in the past. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in evidence. But I also believe in playing the odds. Nine times out of ten, the husband did it. Why are your superiors so eager to pin Johnny for murder? It's gotta be more than just not liking the guy. Standard policy for guys like Johnny. The way they see it, you send a man like him into Golem City, and he's liable to go off the grid, end up with Arkor. God knows who. He becomes ten times more trouble than he's worth. But if they can charge him with something big, something like murder, well, suddenly he's no trouble at all. I'm starting to like this guy. This cop is very, very real world. <laughs> I guess with this, nothing more. I have what I need for now. I should go. Don't forget to question Daria. I don't want to keep her here forever. Okay, let's talk to Daria and then maybe we can skedaddle out of here. Excuse me. I have some questions for you. I will cooperate. You have promised to help and so I will try to help as well. What were you doing here? I was looking for Starlight, my cat. There was lightning and suddenly this flash of certainty. That's when I knew something awful was happening. Where were you exactly? In the shadows. My head was down. I couldn't move. Oh God, stupid Daria. I shouldn't have gone out today. The energies were all wrong. Is there anything else I should know about you? You want to know about Daria? What is there to tell? Small town girl came to the big city to escape her problems, to try and become someone else. Did it work? Not really. You can't escape yourself. You can't just come to a big city and expect all your problems to seem smaller. It doesn't work that way. How did the attack happen? What was the killer doing? He was on top of her, cutting the evil out. That's what he called it. I, I, I mean, I think. So you heard his voice? Very clearly, yes. He sounded confident, authoritarian, like a general commanding troops. What did he say exactly? It is time to make you whole again. Can you remember anything about what the killer looks like? To be honest. I saw more of the shadow than the man. I remember he was very big. The shadow, it covered everything. So you can't describe him? Not the face, no. His clothes, he was wearing something very dark. Uh, black, maybe blue. Was he augmented? He moved like an augmented man. But I can't say for sure. 
Why is it you don't trust the police to take care of this case? I have bad memories of the police. What kind of memories? Get calls I didn't want. Tickets I didn't deserve. The policemen here are, are worse than children. Former captains of high school sports teams will never recapture their years of glory. I was captain of the debate team in high school. Yes, well, debate is different. What's your take on Montag? You ever meet him before tonight? I went to the station once, years ago, to complain about the ticket. Detective Montag is the one they send you to handle the paperwork. How'd he do? He did fine. The point is, he's a desk jockey. Look at him, he's lost out here. The cops who know how to catch killers, <laughs> they're not the ones sent to investigate murdered ox. Haha, <laughs> desk jockey. I'm gonna do what I can to help the investigation. Good luck. Okay, now we have... We have the options of two things. Uh, travel to the Vinci Court or option travel to Sista de Vista. The evidence found at the crime scene reminds Montag of another murder, some sort of, some old case. Johnny Gunn, okay, let's try to go, okay. Uh, earlier the bell just, the, the timer went off, so this, this, um, Episode's getting a bit long, I so I guess it's good time to cut the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in my next episode. Bye!